Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. So here I am with the solution of MCQ 1 marks and 2 marks questions of the state level SSLC preparatory examination which uh, happened on 24th February 2022. Okay. So I hope you are going to like this video and the speciality of this video is that uh, I will be solving the problem with some tricks and tips that might be useful for you for your preparation. So kindly do watch the video till last okay and uh, share your views in the comment section after watching it. So with that let me start with the first question. Okay, you can see it and uh, I want you to practice all the questions asked from this question paper. It is very important for your exam. Okay, and uh, soon after this paper is solved, I will be starting a series on the most important questions from each of the chapter of maths. Okay, so you can subscribe the channel to get the videos notification. Okay, so with that, let me start the first question, the from the one from the MCQ. They have given a pair of linear equations a one x plus b one y plus c one is zero, and a two x plus b two y plus c two is zero. Have unique solution. Then the correct relation among the following is dash. So I have given one trick. What was the trick? If you have seen my earlier videos, you might know, you might have known that it is IPC and just write CID. Okay. So what does that mean? See, what type of line is this? If I draw it here, this is intersecting, this is parallel and this is coincident. Right. So I represent intersecting, P represents parallel and C represents Coincident. Now, what about this? They represent consistent, independent, okay? Uh, sorry, inconsistent and dependent, correct? Now, for the solution, see if they are touching, these two lines are touching at only one point. So, it has only one solution. They, these two lines, okay, they are on one another, okay? So, they touch at all the points. So, they have many solutions. And these two, they never meet at any point. So it has no solution. So this is the case. Okay. Now, how to come whether they are intersecting parallel or in this uh, coincidence. So remember this A1 by A2, B1 by B2 and C1 by C2. Now see, if all of the three are equal, then see, remember this case, both the lines are together. It means all of them are together. Just remember like that. So this case will represent what? Inter this uh, coincident line and it will have many solutions and the equation will be called as dependent. So you can remember like this. Now, if only first two are equal, see this and this represent two lines. So it represents just first two. If first two are equal, third is not equal, then it is parallel. Okay. And if first two are not equal, okay. You can just imagine this represents a wrong sign, no sign. So if first two is not equal, then we can say it represents intersecting line. So now they have given unique solution. So for unique solution, it should be intersecting. And for intersecting, this is the condition first two. So which is that? Yes, this is the option a1 by a2, e not equal to b1 by b2. What about this one? Yes, this is for uh, coincident line and this one is for parallel and this is for none. We don't have such case. Okay. So I hope you have understood the trick. So do remember this. You are not going to miss any type of question asked on this if you have understood the trick which I have explained here. Okay. So now let us see the next question. So coming to this second question, they have asked the formula to find sum of 
first n positive odd numbers so which are the positive odd numbers it starts from 1 2 sorry not 2 3 5 dash 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 right till nth term so what is the formula to find the sum of first terms so sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d right this is the formula now what is n here it is n itself what about first term it is 1 so substitute 2 into 1 plus n is as it is d is what 3 minus 2 it is 2 so now keep n as it is and solve this 2 plus multiply this 2n minus 2 right so this will become n by 2 into these two will get cancelled here correct 2 minus 2 is 0 so you are left with just 2 n so 2 2 gets cancelled and you will get n square so no need to buy this if you know this basic formula you can find for e1 as well as odd and uh, any such question okay so which is the option yes d that is the right answer next is question number three the quadratic equation in the following is so for quadratic equation what is the rule the highest degree on a variable should be 2 and there must be equal sign with 0 okay even if 0 is not there the constant c should be in the RHS let us see so here also if you can see you have equal sign but no degree as 2 so this is not the equation here the degree is 3 so even this is not the equation c here you have the degree as 2 but you don't have this equal sign so this can't be an equation this is an expression okay only option number a satisfy the condition of quadratic that is degree is 2 highest degree as well as you have equal sign in that so therefore option number a is the right choice okay yes now moving to fourth question fourth question says if a is equal to 30 degree then the value of sine 2a is dash so what is sine 2a yes replace a with 30 degree so 30 into 2 is how much it is 60 degree what is sine 60 if you know this 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 2 root 3 by 2 and what is this 1 okay so this is for 0 30 45 60 what is the answer root 3 by 2 option number b is the right choice okay moving to next question now fifth question says the distance of the coordinates 3 comma 4 from x axis is dash so if you write a coordinate system or Cartesian system okay this is 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 okay if I mark like this what about 3 comma 4 x is always the first value y is the second so x is 3 and y is 4 it comes somewhere from here and this is from here okay so this is 3 comma 4 now they have asked the distance of coordinates from y axis so this is y axis right so from y axis how far is this distance how far is this point this point is 1 2 3 3 units right so therefore option number a is correct and if they have asked the distance uh, sorry they have asked it from x axis not y sorry 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 so from <coughs> x axis this is x this is at a distance of 1 2 3 4 4 units so option number b is correct okay i hope you have understood this from y axis it will be 3 and from x axis it is 4 units okay now moving to the question number 6 they have given the x coordinate of the point of intersection of less than and more than type positives gives the dash okay so less than and more than it always gives which value yes it is median remember this from this also we have this cumulative frequency term and from median also we have cumulative frequency term so remember that this intersection will give what median option number d is the right answer i hope it's clear moving to next question question number seven says triangle ade okay this is triangle ade 
is similar this represents similar sign similar to triangle a b c if a d this is one centimeter a b this complete is two centimeter then area of a b c triangle in a d e a a b c by a d e okay area so using the area of similar triangles theorem we have area ratio of area is equal to square of their corresponding side so for a b c we have a b as two square and for a d we have one square so it is two square is four and one so answer is four is two one option number a is the correct answer okay next is the last question from mcq the formula to find the lsa of frustum of a cone so lateral surface area okay that is c of cone it is pi r l for what is this first term it will be r1 plus r2 into l remember this so pi r1 plus r2 into l square unit since it is area it should be square unit so pi r1 plus r2 l square unit option number c is the right choice got it i hope you have understood if yes do press the like button and let us move to the next main so here is our next question write the number of solutions that a pair of linear equations this a1 a x plus b1 y plus c1 equals to 0 and a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 equals to 0 have c1 is not equal to c2 so if you see here a1 and this is a2 correct both of them are equal right a1 is equal to as uh, this is also a1 both of them are equal and for this case b1 by b2 even here b1 even b2 is equal to b1 it means what first two these two are equal but the third is not equal so this is for which case yes this is the case for parallel lines and for parallel lines we have how many solutions yes we don't have any solution so answer is no solutions okay that is the right answer i hope you have understood this next is question number 10 the 17th term of ap exceeds 10th term by 7 write the common difference of this progression so write this statement in the form of a and d okay so how are you going to write see 17th term it can be written as a 17 so 17th term is uh, it exceeds its 10th term exceeds means added 10th term by 7 so a 10 plus 7 you have to find the value of d so just change them in the form of a and d this can be written as a plus 16 d and this can be written as a plus 9d and this is plus 7 so both side we have a they will get cancelled because if you bring these two lhs it's become a minus a which is zero so directly you can do and this is 9d which is equal to 7 so 16 minus 9 is 77 so d is 7 by 7 which is equal to 1 so the value of d is how much 1 okay so one is the answer next is question number 11 here they have asked if sin a is 3 by 4 write the value of cosec a cosec a is reciprocal of sin a okay so 3 by 4 can be written as 4 by 3 that is the answer that's all next is question number 12 write the coordinates of midpoints of the line segment joining the points a and b so midpoint x comma y will be this formula x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2 okay that's all next is statement of basic proportionality theorem so what is the statement of bpt it is also called as what thales theorem okay so i'll just read it if a line is drawn so remember this is the triangle correct now see what does it says if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle this is the triangle let me draw a line 
this line is parallel to this side so if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect other two sides in distinct point so these are the two sides so it is intersecting both of them at two distinct points then the other two sides means this and this okay this and this other two sides are in the same ratio so if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct point then the other two sides are in same ratio that is your bpt okay so you can refer your textbook also by had this okay it's very important next is question number 14 here they have given if the diameter of a circle is 7 cm okay so imagine this is the center and this is the diameter then write the length of its semicircular arc they have mentioned semicircular arc so for a semicircular arc okay uh, leave the semicircular just remember this arc what is the formula to find the length of arc we have theta by 360 into 2 pi r right now what is theta so for a straight line what is the angle it is 180 right so here the angle will be 180 degree by 360 degree into 2 pi you can write pi as 22 by 7 and they have given radius as how much okay they have given diameter so radius will be 7 by 2 right so this is 7 by 2 got it now see if you cancel this this will get cancel 2 2 will get cancel 0 zero, 0 18 1 0 18 2 0 36 2 1 0 2 11 0 so. so the value of length is how much 11 cm got it it's very important they have given diameter you have to make it into radius that is our diameter by 2 so by this we got the answer as 11 cm okay next is question number 15 what have they given they have asked that write the formula to find the surface area of sphere whose radius is, is r unit see they have given units so area surface area is equal to 4 pi r square and here you have to write square units this is very important okay because area is always in units square units and volume in uh, unit cube or cube unit cube unit okay i hope you have understood moving to question number 16 and now they have asked find the length of the side of a cube whose volume is 64 cm cube okay so the volume of cube is how much l cube correct now they have given if l is the side it is l cube they have given volume as 64 So what about L cube? L will be equal to cube root of 64. And what is cube root of 64? It is 4. So L is how much? 4. And since volume was in centimeter cube, this this will be in centimeter. So the answer is 4 centimeter. Okay. I hope you have understood this. So the next is two mark questions. Okay. and uh, i will be explaining explaining this in my next video okay the link will be provided in the description box itself you can watch it from there okay and uh, four marks to five mark questions link of that also will be provided in the same description watch it to learn them and don't forget to practice them that is very very important with this let me end the today's video I hope you liked it. Okay, so see you all in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye, and have a great time.